Hello, my name is Monsa Venegas. I'm 19 years old and I go to Harper College. I am currently a neuroscience and health promotion major. I expect to transfer spring of next year. So some facts about me. I was a part of the Marriage Ambassador program. Earlier this year, I was on the Taiwan trip and although everything was shifted online for the rest of the year, I decided to make the most of it and I completed a marketing internship earlier this um, this summer with the California International Trade Center for the Greater Los Angeles area. I am currently in the AFT 1521 internship at my campus and I am running for ASO for this term as the outreach senator. I am currently a sophomore at Los Angeles Harbor College. I did dual enrollment in high school for my last two years and decided to go to Harbor because I did not have the financial resources to transfer to a university at that time. As I mentioned before, I'm a neuroscience and health promotion major. I really wanted to major in psychology, but I wanted to challenge myself and take organic chemistry, physics, and all of the STEM related sequences at my school. And I also decided to learn about health promotion and disease prevention as well. I was in the virtual research program for this summer, we had our first meeting on July 20th, and it kind of extended until September this month. Um, my role in this internship was to investigate how the Los Angeles Mayor's Office of International Affairs should promote export promotion after um, COVID-19, how uh, we can help businesses thrive, especially um, considering the conditions that they're in right now. So throughout the whole internship, our team was checking in with our mentor. We had weekly meetings with him and also informal ones as a whole group. We used Zoom a lot so that we could have our meetings. We met like probably three to four times a week in total, including our mentor meeting. And some of our informal meetings kind of span from like two to four hours, just kind of so that we can check in with each other and make sure that we were having an understanding of what we were doing and that we had the ability to, you know, reach out to each other in case we had like questions or were stuck on something. And it really helped because we all had different schedules. So, you know, we use Google Docs a lot so that in case we weren't able to join our informal meetings, at least we had, you know, questions or research that we could go over and give feedback on. I applied for this internship because I am a first generation American. My parents immigrated from Mexico and when they were younger, they didn't have any of the resources or opportunities that are available to me right now. So I just decided to take advantage and just learn as much as I could, even if I didn't know a lot, I, even if I didn't consider myself an expert. I had, completing, I had completed the global marketing internship before. So I thought, hey, I know I have some background on this, so I'm just going to go for it. And I did, I got accepted. And the few skills that you know I was able to learn in the other internship definitely came in handy for this one. Uh, I had some research in conducting like independent research, how to condense my findings, how to articulate them. So I think I, I just did pretty well. I was able to refine my presentation skills, uh, be a leader for our team and make sure that we were applying effective worth, ethic, worth ethics and you know applying techniques to make sure that we were getting all our work in, that we were understanding the material, that we were getting the help we needed if we were stuck on anything. Uh, my favorite part of the internship was our midway presentation. We had the presentation um, for our, one of the clients. Um, David O of the Mayor's Office of International Affairs and for our coordinator Priscilla Lopez, Dean Priscilla Lopez of Harbor College. And we were just able to have, you know, a one-on-one -on -one chat about our presentation and they gave us wonderful feedback that we incorporated into our final research paper. So it was it was a very exciting experience and those are the kind of moments that, you know, you learn things and they repeat, you know, in other things as well. So I mean I expect to apply all of this newfound knowledge that I achieved from being in this program and applying it to anything else, like any other project that I'm a part of after this, whether it be work related, whether it be school related, whether it be any type of extracurricular. I'm really excited to have been a part of this program, super grateful, and I really appreciate everything. Um, thank you very much. Bye bye.